back to back weeks. We are starting not with the Blue Jays, uh, a rarity in this on this podcast, um, because I think this is probably the biggest news we're going to talk about today. Yeah, and it happened maybe forty five minutes. Before it was about an hour ago. Uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers have fired Ipe. I forget his last name, but you know him as Ipe, Miz- and that's all you Ipe need. Ipe Mizuhara is Mizuhara. His name. Um, if you don't know, that's Shohei Otani's translator. Uh, he was fired for what Shohei's camp is calling a massive theft. Um, from Shohei. Yeah. So there's apparently- obviously not much on it. It's only been an hour. So he was accused of like a massive theft of Otani's funds to place bets with an illegal bookmaker. So good for him. That's- <laughs> now spend, spend it all that two million dollars a year. Let's have some fun. Oh no! Because there's there's a handful of conspiracies we can run from this. Uh, first and foremost, this could very much be Shohei's doing. He, he pitched like, taking the fall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this could be a very much an under the table. Like, hey, I'll just keep paying you. You just take the fall for this, so I don't take the heat. Because, like, if you just offer this guy, you're like, hey, I'll give you a million dollars a year for the rest of your life. You think Ipe's going to say no? Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. No. Probably not. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> what this also could be, if we're really playing conspiracy theories, I don't know if you guys remember, but when he signed the contract, there was a clause in it that said if certain members of the team are fired, then he can opt out at the end of the I've season. I've seen conflicting shit on that if Ipe is involved in that. I don't, maybe was not. 100% one of the ones on that. Now... What if this is this is this a force majeure? Like is this like... what if Shohei went through spring training and said, Fuck this, I don't like the way the Dodgers go about their business, or I don't like something about this Dodgers team and said, Hey, let's do something stupid here. You get fired, I'll opt out, and then we'll let bygones be bygones at the end of the season. I think it's very fun to think that. I don't think he would it's have done absolutely it probably not what happened. training. <laughs> Not at all. No, uh, it probably would have taken I was going to bring more. that up as well. But no, mm-hmm. like during spring training, why not wait till like three Midway. quarters of the way through the year and be like, yeah, I don't like it here. Yeah. <laughs> this also does give him, I, I think if you're the Dodgers now, like you kind of got to, not like they weren't going to anyways, but they kind of got to treat him like gold for the rest of the season because he now has the ability to opt out if he really wants to. I it's wonder, not going to happen, but I wonder can. if there's some sort of clause in there, like if he requested that they fire him, right? Um, that he signs something that says he can't opt out, yeah, based on that, yeah. That I mean, that would be smart business from the Dodgers, but yeah, I, there's no way you sign that deal without having something like that in place, right? Like, yeah, just a way out if you're Shohei. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, because like from all accounts, it seems like the two of them were fairly close. Like they spend a shit ton of time together, even outside of the, the, the stadiums and stuff. So like, this is kind of weird. The whole thing just <laughs> kind of rubs you the wrong way a little bit. So it's wild to see it. There's definitely going to be more coming out over the next couple hours or a couple days or weeks and months ahead. But as of right now, crazy shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> yeah. In the this, landscape. Well- all this while they were playing at while we were all sleeping. Yeah, the uh, they started the MLB season. Um, I didn't watch either or the the game. I don't know about you guys. I for sure. No, I've didn't. seen highlights. I haven't seen the score. Don't know. Uh, they saw, it was like I saw the Cronenworth highlights. That's it. Okay. It finished five two. So for the Dodgers. For the Dodgers. Yeah. Okay. There we go. He put up um, a four spot in the inning where Cronenworth's glove decided to fail him. So, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. The MLB season is officially underway for two yeah. teams. Yeah. Is it a full three game set? No, it's I, two. It's two. And then they come back and play a spring series and then start. That's so strange. It's a yeah. weird way to do it, but whatever. Here we are. Um. Yeah. Welcome back to the Flight Deck podcast uh, where we're supposed to talk about the Blue Jays. Yeah, but that never happens. No. Um it's not the biggest the, the biggest news, I don't know, maybe not the biggest news, but bigger news out of the Blue Jays camp this week is that Jose Barrios is going to be the opening day starter. 
Uh, so RIP to Jose Barrios, 2024. It was a good run. Yeah, yeah. And guess who had him as a Cy Young pick? Yeah, sorry, man. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it was the obvious pick once you found out that Gosman couldn't go. Yeah. He earned it. He's he's great. And hopefully this curse ends now because I don't really want him to get hit by that all year again. That sucks. No, I no, not at all. But there's really not much else to say on it. Uh other yeah. opening day news. <laughs> I am a jinx. Yes. Um but Danny Jansen will not be playing opening opening me, day. Me. Oh, you call, yeah. You called yeah. me a jinx. You are a yeah. jinx. Yeah, I, I, that was like a week ago. Uh-huh. Yeah, literally a week on this podcast. Connor say, said Brian yeah. Servant's not going to play a role on this team. <laughs> to, after, I said, just after, after pumping him up and saying how great he's been playing, he's. Mm-hmm. I remember it like almost distinctly. It was like, side note, Brian Servant hit another mm-hmm. bomb today. That's like back-to-back days or two and three or whatever. I know he's not going to play a role in this team, but like he looks good. <laughs> well, he's going to play a role. In this Danny team. did what Danny did. Danny did what Danny does. Pardon me. Dan, Danny, uh, got, Danny got did to him what always happens to him. Yeah. He, well, however, now his hands are just magnets. For people. This this one not that bad. It's only a couple weeks. I think he might be out the first series, and that's probably he'll miss, it. He'll miss a couple, but it'll be fine. Um, so that's fine. Now Connor might still be right. Um, a because it doesn't look like Servin is the guy they're thinking. It seems like Henry's got a chance. Um, yeah. Which... But also, if they really wanted to, they have two backup catchers on their roster already. Oh, boy. And if Jano's only going to be down for I don't a series... Think you, do. you don't think they have two backups? You, you technically... They, they do, you but I think do? they're both in your starting lineup. No, I understand. But you can pull other them positions. In. I mean, hey. you can not use... IKF in a certain situation, or you use or you don't use yes. uh, uh, what do you call it, Varsho. But my They're point not being, gonna run with no catcher on the bench. No, but they could. It, for three games, it, I think you can trust Kirk to do it for three games. Mm-hmm. If that's going to be the scenario, and then at that point, you don't have to make a decision on your who you're sending down of the clump of infielders that you have. You can add one more. You can let that go for three games and maybe push them down after that series when you have more of a chance of them getting if it's someone like Clement who has to go through waivers then you have Ooh, a better chance of pushing them through on this opening day roster who's absolutely not getting sent down like he better not they had essentially a tryout game today uh with with Vlad and Varsho and it just kinda... yeah uh <laughs> Clement went two for four with a triple and a single I think the other one was yeah Vogelbach had a homer Vogel had a homer like the two of them won tryout day today yeah like, there's no way around that. Like, I don't know what Escobar did. I know he was 0 for 1 after his first at bat, and then I stopped paying attention. Yeah. Um, but Ernie Clement, they tried him in left field today. And Which... I think that speaks to another <laughs> side of maybe using Varsho in that potential emergency catcher spot because it, then you can also, just throw either of them out there. It also speaks to, I think, a level of confidence in a certain player that they mm-hmm. have right now. David Schneider. Yeah. I. <laughs> I like, mean, Davis has been okay. In he's been okay. It's just that in the last like month, how how have you have you really been confident? That's like, oh yeah, he's gonna be on the team. That I'm part, like, I'm, I'm like 50 50 if he's on the opening day roster. Who are you taking over Davis Schneider right now? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, I don't think it's Santiago Espinal. I, I don't think it is either. But it's just like I I don't feel confident in Davis. <laughs> like it's weird. I they're not gonna take Votto. And Vogue. Well, it doesn't no, make sense. No, Votto's. I, I, I think there's a chance they don't take either if Votto's not ready. Mm-hmm. I, think I think they might take Vogue. I, I agree, Vogue's but I think there's a it, chance but... that you just move on from him and don't pay the money because Votto's going to be up in a couple weeks and yeah, you possible. keep Lucas yeah. as the extra outfielder. Yeah, I was going to say. He's also if, had a pretty good spring, I believe. If you don't take okay. if you, if you you don't take uh, Davis, it's... Jesus. The other catcher, Vogie. Clement. Clement. Clement is on this team. Yeah. The other catcher, Vogie, Clement, and then... I'm more confident Davis is yeah, on this Horowitz. team than I'm confident <laughs> nah, yeah, it's, it's, that it's Davis Vogie is. 
it just makes sense. I the only thing you could say is maybe you want Davis to have the at bats and try and hit his way into back into getting hot. So you send him down to AAA where he's going to play every day. I don't know if you can guarantee him playing every day. I don't know if you can guarantee him playing four games a week. Are we at a point. point where we would rather have Davis Schneider in AAA than the major leagues contributing, though? Possibly. He's still young, like, or maybe not young, but he's still early in his career, right? I'm, like, I'm not talking about his age. I'm talking about this team. Like, we are at a point where we got to win. It's well, we haven't even played a game yet, so I don't know if we're at that point yet. No, like the state of the franchise right now is, is a win. point where you yeah. need to win. Right. You don't. But does Davis Schneider in his current 25, state give you the best chance to do? Was he? Is he 25? 26? I don't know, 26, 26. Roughly, okay. I I think he adds pop. He adds some versatility. Mm-hmm. And he's, good eye. he's gonna be probably a very streaky hitter, I think, from what we've seen. Hmm. So ride the hot streaks. It's 25. That's, that's what you gotta do. Yeah, he just turned 25 a couple yeah. months ago. So. I'm not that's, I, that's I'm not, not opposed. Young. That's not a prospect anymore. Like no. And he wasn't but he a is still a rookie coming up. No, I understand that. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying I think he brings way more value being on the team than the potential of him going to AAA and getting hot, which doesn't necessarily translate to the majors. No, but at least he's getting at bats is kind of my only – that's the only thought. You don't really care if Vogelback is on your bench not getting at bats because he's on a minor league deal. You're going to sign him to a next-to-nothing mm-hmm. contract if he's playing in the majors. You don't have to worry about what he's doing for you in the future. You You can let him go when – you bring Davis up to play consistently. Are you more confident in Davis Schneider versus lefty or Kevin Biggio versus the lefty? Mm, Davis, I think. What do you need in the situation? Yeah. <laughs> it's my serious, but not serious. I'm just saying like overall. Davis hits lefty as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes, very well. But I don't think that, Kevin's that been bad against lefties lately. It's the gap between the gap between Cav and Davis as far as lefty hitting isn't as big as like it used to be. No. I don't think. Like, no, and that's fair. But he still m- mashes lefties, which Cav mm-hmm. doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yes, fair. Who we open the season against Tampa? Yes. What does Tampa's rotation look like? Yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, Shane okay. Boz. I think is Boz uh, healthy. I don't know if he is. I might. I was literally about to say Tyler Glass. Now that's how bad it no. is. Okay. Yeah. Zach um, Latell. Oh, Zach um, Eflin. Zach Eflin. Yeah, Eflin. Their entire open. rotation is righties. Eflin. So, wow. Geez. Okay. According to Fangraphs, uh, Eflin. Yeah, Savali, but you know how much they like to play matchups in the pen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking Zach Latell. They have three Pat lefties Yo. in their pen. Yeah. Like. Ugh. Oh Including, my god. Actually, this might not. They have three lefties currently in their pen. Okay, according to Fangraphs, like projected depth charts, mm-hmm. you will net a Blue Jays legend is in the air, the Tampa Bay Rays uh, bullpen. I think twenty nineteen. You lost Starter. me. I'm I'm looking at it, but Starter, you lost me. This is on Fangraphs, Brent. I'm looking on MLB.com and I don't yeah. see anyone. Fangraphs has has young Jacob Waggis pack. Really? <laughs> so you said the Rays? Yes. Oh, they have him in the rotation. Shit, never mind. I missed that. You're right. Yeah. Yikes. Um, yeah, they got Eflin, Savali, Latell, Pepio, Waggis Pack right now. That's, that's so bad. That's... Either way, that's all righty. Sorry. My the basis of my point here, uh, you're gonna go through that whole first series. If you're if you're platooning it, Davis is not gonna get a start in that one. Who do we play second? So, would you rather opening day have Vogie and either Espinal or Lucas on the 26 man roster over um, Schneider? You think that makes sense? Not a ton. No, it doesn't make any sense. It just makes sense to get him more at bats, is my only thought process in this whole thing. So, so after uh, Tampa, we play yeah. Houston. Houston, uh, and that's. Who do... I know they have Garcia as a lefty, isn't he? Valdez. No, Valdez is a lefty. I think. Valdez is the lefty, and then like Garcia, McCullers, Gers- Javier. Isn't so... one of them a lefty? Nah. Ver- Verlander like literally... gets opening day. We think. No, 
Fromberg probably. Fromberg. Verlander's hurt. For, oh, that okay. is true too. They don't have them. Okay, so then you go Framber, and then after that, it's all righty. So you're not going to run to Framber. So yeah, you would in game. You six. would. You would in game six. Yeah. Yeah, because we feel like what are they going to run a right, seven so. man, six man rotation? Well, currently, they have Verlander, Valdez, Javier, Urquidy, McCullers, Garcia, Brown, and France all in their rotation. Well, but they all well, they all can. They could run a six man, but I don't think they will. So you're getting Framber game six. So the time that it makes sense to put Davis Schneider into start is game six of the regular season. I, I just I don't know. I don't okay. think it's. I think he's probably going to be on this team, and I think he. Earned it with the start he had last year, but I can also see them going the route of sending him down to let him get some at bats in the minors and just and calling hit. up who I don't know, but I don't think it particularly matters for at least five games. You're gonna run out your your so you're you're your sending him lineup. to the minors and calling him up game six. Is that what you're saying? Not maybe not, but it, it's an option early in the season. It's something but you can why? do because I don't. Because you can, and he's got you options. Waste an option on both guys, though. Yeah, but then odds are you're never sending Davis down again. It just makes and no it could sense. be a move like, where you're... who are you who are you taking on the roster? Say you're taking Espinal. Where does Espinal play in those five days? I don't know. So the bench, what, what's the bench the high fiving Vladdy because he's Hispanic. I don't. I don't know if Espinal's on this team. To be honest, I okay, think Espinal's Lucas. another guy that's probably down there getting at bats. Okay, then it's Lucas. But I think they're Lucas fine playing? with not playing Lucas. I don't think you care if Lucas is down there getting at bats because I think this is probably Lucas's last year with the Blue Jays. Whereas Davis, I think you want him to continue to be a starter for the Toronto Blue Jays for the rest of his career, ideally. So you, so you want him to get back days up. in the minors? No. It might be more than five. I don't know if they take that one lefty starter and bring him back up. It might just be if they don't think he's ready yet. They could run him back down there for two weeks. Do you think you'd rather develop him than have him contribute to this team? Not necessarily develop. It's just get him back into what he can be and have him in a state where he's going to play and he's going to be raking. You don't think that's a huge shot to the confidence after what he did last year? Did you see the end of last year for him? Like, I, I, everyone kind of gets blinded by what David no, Schneider did. He for fell off huge. His start, but he, yeah, he was not good in the last month of the season. I don't know. I think, like I said, I think you're at a point where it's not about a 25 year old kid who was a no non prospect mm -hmm. getting extra time to develop and get at bats. I would rather have him in a position in game one when who are we playing against? Tampa goes to Fairbanks, who I think is a lefty. Mm -hmm. And okay, I don't it's know. Like Garrett Clevenger or some shit. Okay, Garrett goes to Garrett Clevenger in the seventh. You get runners on second, third, two outs, and you're gonna send up who? If for to pinch hit for whoever. Like I'd rather have Davis in that scenario. Yeah. Uh there was a run. Pinch hit for Vogie. Say Vogie's playing. Like there was a run where Davis went three for forty seven at the end of last year. <laughs> Did not realize it was that bad. Yeah. I know he was like 0 for twenty eight in that stress too. Like he's... Yeah. He didn't get a hit for one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight games. It, then he had a two-hit game against Tampa in, I think that was the last game of the year. It, uh, I don't know. What he did at the beginning very much warrants him guaranteeing a spot on this team. What he did in the end is why you're kind of concerned. Yeah, but who on this team has any potential to have that imp Excuse me, impact off the bench like him? None of the guys we're talking about are going to have any impact. No, no. Lucas is going to sit there and play maybe 30 games all year. Mm -hmm. If he was on the bench for a full season, mm -hmm. he's not making an impact. No. I don't know. What is Davis? What are his numbers so far in the spring? I feel like They're probably not great, but all the talk around him doesn't sound good. And I think that's it's. Putting um, me in the wrong direction. He's uh, it's he's six for thirty. Oh, geez, okay, spring training. He's got a one seventy one average in spring right now. Yeah, that's not great. Um, but he does have two homers and thirty five at bats. Twelve strikeouts, four walks. Got a six thirty nine OPS. 
it's um it's not still great. spring training and there's a week left guys could you don't know what he, he's maybe he's trying to sure. work on things you this conversation know. could be very different in a week but yes which is crazy to say that like the next time we record we're yeah like a day away from games <laughs> as of right now it's just that there's not a huge spot for davis and i just however you're right there, who else is going to come up ahead of him i don't know because you, Clement has to be on this team because he do, he's the only one in the group that doesn't have an option. Yeah, and so, he deserves it. More and he's than earned, earned it. it. He's earned it. So you're giving that one spot. You've got and the other spots going to whoever this backup catcher is going to be. Server no Henry. Like, and then you have two more spots. You can say Vogie gets one because he's earned it. I don't know who's earned the other one. I I can't sit here and tell you that anybody has earned the other one really. So Escobar Davis. hasn't been good. Santi hasn't been good. Davis hasn't been good. Horowitz just doesn't make sense. They don't. They already put the uh, Barger and Martinez in the minor leagues. Yeah. Like so, what do you do? It, it, Davis. Is you leave. I guess you're also. going with the upside of Davis at that point. Yeah. Or I think you there's a Lucas. greater chance Davis makes this team than Vogi. Maybe the only reason being is that you need a forty-man spot for Vogie and you don't for Davis. Yeah, and the fact that you get a Pam, uh, I don't. If they see Votto being ready a week into the season, I think they might just cut bait. Yeah, I mean, I think you just you, the thing with Vogie is you're riding the hot hand while he's hitting homers. He's looked good in the spring. Hit another one today. I think he's earned a look. Give him some at bats if he's garbage. If he starts the season 0 for 18, 19, 20, then you, that's it. it. That's all you're going to have. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting last week to see what they're doing because obviously they're trying some shit because they've now put Cav at third yesterday and In the same IKF game at IKF, second. IKF, yeah. Like... And then they put IKF at short today and they put um, Clement in left. Like, they're going to try some shit here and see what's going to work and who they can bring up and who they can't for, for one game. I don't care how long I, for one inning, fuck mm. it. I want, I want, I want this infield. Mm. Joey Votto, Justin Turner, Bob oh, okay. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. <laughs> like, just, I don't I, know if they're going to try say, that much. Just fuck it. <laughs> I will say um, the boys that have the letters must listen to the pod. Because mm-hmm. I listened to their episode today and they were talking about one Vladimir Guerrero Jr. playing, playing third, third base. Make him third again. I hope everyone knows that when he does eventually make it to third base, we were the ones that started the movement. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've got, especially with Votto now, it we, makes we, a little bit of sense to have a, a lineup where you have Votto, Turner, and Vlad. And Vogelbach, DH. Yeah, just big, <laughs> like fuck I don't know. Just, there's gonna be days where it just that's makes 2021. sense. That's the 2021. That's the 2021 of of lineups. It just like, kind of makes sense. Like one of the, I don't know. It, in theory, you could put the three Nate, of them in, and Nate, you could I, have Nate. I see you're very confused. The age. Fuck defense, hit bombs is essentially what I'm saying. I, I get it, but I don't I... think Vogi fits on that 2021 team. <laughs> <laughs> that's he's, what he, confused me. More. He hits bombs. <laughs> Was, does Joey Votto fit in the 2021 team? Yeah, did Justin you team. see Joey Votto's 2021? I mean, it's fair. What did Turner do in 21? Was he still good? He would. What, he's, he's always been. Good. He's always been. He's been ever since he got to the Dodgers. He's been year amazing. Away, whatever. It's been like ten years. I, a bad I, year for him is like an 800 OPS. I don't think Vlad's into it, but I think they should at least give him one game at third and see if he's if he's, he's something. Had innings at third in the last few years, hasn't he? Like, yeah. What? 22. You don't think Vlad's into it? He probably wants to. Was there He's not kinda... like was it not public that he was carrying a third baseman with him at really? the end of last year? Maybe. I swear I heard that. I just know he's he like openly said there. that like he's happy at first base now and he doesn't really want to he move. He was taking reps there and everything. Then I'm here for it. Put him at third. Just one game. What the fuck does it hurt? Like if you're going to try if you're going to bring Joey Votto into the mix then it might as well have some flexibility and put Vlad over at third. Man, he's got a cannon and he's like athletic as fuck for his mm-hmm. size. Like the plays he makes. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to 
deal with footwork at first. Like, mm -hmm. it makes sense. We've run through the the reasoning so many times, and he's got to be changed. better than Rafi Devers <laughs> at this point. You don't have to be great. What's our other option? IKF. You don't, you don't have to be good. Just be better than twenty twenty one Kevin Biggio. <laughs> if IKF starts the season with like a 065 average for like the first three weeks, and 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 can't. And two bounces every throw. Well, he's, he they, can play defense, but like, does they, it not just make sense? They need to figure out which one of the two guys makes the most sense. Because I don't think either Turner or Vlad has seen. I know Vlad hasn't. Has oh, Turner yeah. seen anything at third base? Like, I, not that I know of. There has to be. If Joey Votto can be anything like what he has been for his career, mm. you want him in that lineup and you got to figure out you want all three a way to make it work. Votto is one for one with a homer too. Like, I don't know. We do have this in here. I, lo right? I love Joey Votto. It's, it's not. A, it was a double run. <laughs> it was a home double run. But either way, he crushed the only ball he saw. Yeah. Um. So maybe off he's of, got it. Exactly. Also, Zach, Wheeler. Zach Wheeler. Like, not as no scrub. Like, so there's a chance that Votto could be not Votto, but a a version of Votto that you yeah, want in the yeah, lineup every but, day. But he's hurt like the Dickens. So. Yeah, that's tough. Gay. It, He's so old. Is he back to doing things? <laughs> the poor guy, man. I think he was supposed to be back today. Okay. Guy rolls his ankle after his only at bat of the game. Um, but that bat boy does not have a job. Yeah. But what, what happened? He rolled it. He he rolled it like in the dugout. On but a did he step on something, or he you just like? Bat. He stepped on a bat and just went eat, and then oh shit! <laughs> I don't know. I there, I don't know. Put Vlad at third. Let's just try some. There's right now. You're right though, Nate. Like none of your backup options have had innings at third. The only guy that I think well, that's seen innings at third is Eduardo Escobar. So I was gonna say, it's not like Escobar's played well. I don't think he's gonna. I, don't I haven't. Think I haven't he's gonna make the team recently, but he hasn't gotten better. He's kind of the same. He had a homer, but yeah. that's that's it. If you're willing to play Escobar there, who doesn't play D. Mm. Like, why not give one of these Just guys a shot? Just Vlad there. Vlad also doesn't, doesn't play Diva. Who fucking cares? It doesn't have to be a full-time thing. But, like, no. if there's a hard righty on the mound or whatever, and you want all three of them in the lineup, like, sure, this has to be a no-brainer. Like, it, yeah, I feel like I'm crazy. Or, or you just stick, uh, go, I'm a gold glover, but only against the Texas Rangers, Kevin Biggio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think that's kind of their that option. Right? That's... But that doesn't get one all three of these guys in the lineup. No. no. The like... Right now, you're right, Connor. That's the only option they have on the literally like, in what's probably going to be the 26 man. The only other option is Cap because Escobar's not going to make the team. Because if we think Davis is making the team, which he probably is, they don't want him. They, they he hasn't played an inning either. All this I think summer. Ernie can play there, and I Ernie think Ernie can. He hasn't played in two I, years. We like it. I you're know, probably I right. Get, I agree with I you. Think, they just figure they don't need to, and they want to see what all these other guys can do at third. They know Ernie's not getting a starting spot, but who they haven't really shown anyone at third. Like it's just, just like IKF. it's IKF. That's it. I would also just assume that like on the backfields they're doing Maybe. shit. Like, like we we know IKF can play third. That I, we think we've established that the guy has a Gold Glove there. He's looked good so far in the spring. There, we get it. Now, who the hell else can play third if something goes wrong? Or if something goes right, like realistically, the, if everything goes right, IKF should not be playing every day. No, and it, like you don't need to marker him in at third because he, he can play third. Like there's so many options there. There's better be, bats. He should be making one point five and not seven point five. Yeah, that's whatever. I, there, no hey, <laughs> I heard. Um, I, forget, I think I saw it on Twitter. Somebody mm -hmm. said. Like there are executives across the league saying that was one of the best signings of the offseason or something. And they As think in, like, he made strides at the end of the year okay. with his bat or something. I don't know what happened when, at the end of the year. But when you saying, say when you say best, do you mean for the player or the organization? <laughs> no, like, they're saying like best value, like the value you could get out of it, I guess. Maybe. I mean, I can maybe argue. now, like I think I don't this... I don't think I agree. But the narrative on IKF is a little out of hand right now. Like, there's a lot of people because of the contract that are saying, like, he just can't play baseball. He's looked yeah. good. And I think he's earned a shot to be in the starting lineup as much as 
probably anyone that's come into spring training so far. But yeah. there's guys like I, I saw a tweet from Andrew Stoughton the other day. And it's like, realistically, the best thing for this team is if they release IKF. That is crazy. Like, like what are we doing here? True. Like, he's been one of our better hitters in the spring so far. Like, worst case scenario, and I said this when we signed him, he is an ultimate super utility man that has pretty well an above average glove at every position. Mm-hmm. And he can hit a little bit and he can run. Yeah. It's just, he's a better option than most guys right now. But Definitely most guys on our fourth base. And he's probably our best option at third base. Dude, the amount of, I just realized the amount of guys with an over 900 OPS right now in spring but, is fucking nutty. The Jays lead the league in homers right that now. Is, that is a lie. Pittsburgh Did they get like, past? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh has like 45. Did they get past? Because they were leading the league in homers as of yesterday. So I don't think so. That's what I heard. I just didn't pull the... Well, yeah, because Jesus, I'm I'm just sorry. I'm scrolling through these. Mm-hmm. Bo is like a nine twenty four. Mm-hmm. Cav has a a ten a one dot one dot zero two zero. Vlad, let's see, let's see what Vlad has. You're supposed Vlad's, to be looking up home runs. Vlad's got a thirteen twenty nine OPS. Like what the what the fuck? I'm looking up shit. It's so funny that there's regular season stats on this board. Maybe what the fuck was it? Great, but no, because Pittsburgh maybe it was, Pittsburgh has forty six. Baltimore has forty two. Maybe it was Chicago AL. And Toronto have thirty seven. Could have been AL going into the yesterday because they have sure. thirty seven, so they're five back of the Orioles. But they said when or two days ago, and then the Orioles hit a couple because mm. they said after they hit one that it's the the Jays were uh, maybe it was their AL leading in homers, something along those lines. Either way, they're tied for third right now in homers. In the league, the entire league, with 37. It is spring training. It is spring training. But a lot of them have come from guys that, uh, except for certain, that come from guys that are going to play for this team. Yeah. So That's good. Yeah. I'm just like, you got to be cautious reading too much into that. I'm reading right into it. Dive in. Have fun. Okay. What's the point of spring training if we can't have fun with it? Yeah. yeah. We can have fun with it, but like I'm just saying be a little cautious. No, we're hitting this. all the homers this year. 355 homers. What's the AL Minnesota, record for homers? 2019 Minnesota Twins who? Like seven guys yeah. with 30 homers? No. <laughs> no. I'm in. What's the AL record for homers by a team? Anyone anyone know? Brain, brain. No. This, this is like trivia for shit. <laughs> I think it's more recent than 2019. Home run records by teams during a single season. I think, I think, I don't know AL, but I think the Atlanta Braves broke a couple of fucking records last year. AL 2019 Twins, Connor. You said this. They had like seven guys. Who's second? I don't know. I only have the leader of both sides. Um, but the most in the NL 2023 Atlanta Braves. Both Who's of them. Who's higher? 307 for both. Crazy. So I wasn't wrong. So we're hitting 333 this year. Okay. Wow. Um. The the top five all came in. Well, four of the top five came in 2019. <laughs> so those don't count. 2019. 20... So the best team is the Braves. Because <laughs> none of those ones count. So after the Twins and Braves, it was the Yankees, the Astros, the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. The 2021 Jays. How many balls are juiced? Three, four, five, no, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the 2021 Jays are eighth all time in home runs in a season. 2019 can't, stats don't count. Yeah. Um, so basically, the Braves are first, and the 2018 Yankees are second. Shout out to the 97 Mariners. They're third. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, 310 homers this year as a team. Clearly, based on what we've seen in spring, I don't see why not. Fuck it. Uh, what else do we have on this list? I haven't looked at the list once. I mean, there's a couple of things. Uh, the Romano and Swanson stuff. That's not great. But mm-hmm. congrats to Chad Green and Jimmy Garcia and for Yariel Rodriguez. <laughs> no, Yariel pitched. You look he's, okay. He looked decent. You gave him yeah, a home run. He's really. not going to be on the roster. He's not I'm ready. Saying, congrats to them both being back end of the pen relievers. Well, well, if there's hear any... me more, they'll be fine. <laughs> If there's anything we need to congratulate is Trevor Richards for staying on the team. <laughs> he's gonna make- Swanee might not 
break opening day, I can't see Romano not being ready. I mean, uh, he has right elbow inflammation, no no structural damage, anti-inflammatory injury. He'll be fine. So, He'll be fine. Uh, be good Swanson has day. right forearm tightness. Swanee's just not ready. If Kevin Gossman um, misses a start, Mm-hmm. Trevor Richards is getting that start. Well, what's your other option? Is, is Alec Man- it's not Alec Manoa. No, Manoa's not ready. Is it Mitch White? Bowden's are... Ooh. Is it Mitch White? No. Because it's, it's Richards as the Richards opener and Mitch White as the bulk guy. That's yeah, good. Bro, the, 100% Richards what they're going to do. Sucks. <laughs> I don't want to see Trevor Richards against the Astros. <laughs> Mm. you're right it's absolutely what it is but i don't do we really think osman's not gonna be ready by game six five sorry oh god i completely forgot about espino that's a name that i that i don't (laughs) want to see hasn't he been good He's been I okay. think he's had a really good spring. I he's haven't been, actually seen it, but I he's heard had the he's quietest been good. okay spring. Like he had like some of the most innings pitched in winter ball and like one of the best ERAs. Didn't he like not play a single year in the majors until he turned like 32 or something? Something so, like that. I remember hearing that. There are the legend like, of Paolo Espino is insane. There are like two other people from his draft class still in Major League Baseball. Jesus. Yeah, he made his debut and at 30. And I'm pretty sure they're Clayton <laughs> Kershaw and Justin Verlander. Yeah. He made his debut at 30 and then didn't play another game until he turned 33. <laughs> this is nuts. Well, he's actually uh 12 innings in spring training is a 3.75. So mm-hmm. he's a 1.08 whip. 16 Ks, Connor. 16, 16 Ks walks. in 12 innings, dude. Only two walks. That's Apparently not bad. Ball is lethal. I've heard. I forget where I was hearing it, but they were talking about him and how like he's actually making noise at spring training, and his stuff is ridiculous. I'm here for it. Wait. I don't think he makes this team. It doesn't make any sense. But... <laughs> if he makes this team, <laughs> fuck fuck him, why not? Right. Oh boy, nah, dude, he's a dog. I think 16 it was Ks at... in 12 innings is good. I think it was at the letters I heard talking about him today, and he had some surgery that he needs to have like. Basically, his shoulder like reconstructed. He need he needs the surgery. He didn't have it or something like that. His shoulder is like fucked. We, we, but, he's thirty six, but he's thirty seven. Thirty seven. Can't, can't, can't afford it to miss a year at this no. point in his career. <laughs> so he just got a go. he just got a shit ton of cortisone shots and then went and pitched winter ball and lit it up. <laughs> the legend of like, Paolo Espino is insane. I love this. Just from hearing that, I want him on the opening day. Right? I got like, it. Why not? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, so, well, I, trust <laughs> I trust him. I trust him more than I trust Trevor Richards. Is that wrong? You kind of. He's got a one point oh eight whip. That's not bad. In spring, he's got a twelve Ks per nine. Twelve. That's like Chris Sale shit. And spring means everything. <laughs> Until it doesn't. <laughs> Spring training stats are the only ones you should ever look at. They're the most meaningful stats. Yeah, for sure. Crazy, man. It's crazy. He's got eight K's his his eight K's per walk. Nuts. He's a dog. You don't like Let him cook. Trevor you don't like Trevor Richards five no, four ERA in <laughs> how many K's does the Spino have if we're going off a of K? Sixteen. Sixteen. In how many? Twelve? Twelve. Okay, well, Richard's got a 5 4. Mm, he's thrown he's eight in the lot. third. Mm. He's like four Ks. 1.8. No, he's got a bunch. 14 Ks. Yeah, I was going to say he's got a bunch. <laughs> Wait, did you say his whip is 1.8? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. He's either giving up a homer or a strikeout. It's he's not... only getting outs by Ks. Yeah. He is he is Mr. Three True Outcome. Like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just two. He is two outcomes. He's the Joey Gallo of pitchers. Not three. There's only two outcomes with Trevor Richards it's a homer or a walk. No. Uh, strikeout, okay. not walk. Strike oh, sorry, a strikeout. My bad. Sorry. Well, he no also walks. does walk our shit. Does he walk? People. What's the walks looking like, Nate? Typically, he walks a lot of people. But I don't know. Yeah, it seems stat, like more work. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> a host of this podcast who has technology can look something up. Um, I, is it, I look, does I he have a better walks I per nine than one point five? 
He has five walks in eight innings. <laughs> eight yeah, innings. sorry, that took me a while to find that. <laughs> so that's got to be like a what a four seven. You know what I just found out on M- on the MLB app? You can search guys like stats career wise in, in All Star games. Really? So in Absolutely. case you're wondering, Trevor Richards has not played in an no, All Star game. Never. I'm shocked, personally. You can, you can also just look up like his his stats in a division series. I'm sure Trevor Richards is a great guy, but he's not the legend of Paolo Espino. And just I want to see it. Are we? Is, is Paolo Pal- Espino on the forty man? I thought you were gonna no. say is Paolo Espino on the flight. West Parsons is though. West Parsons is. Well, can we just DFA West Parsons <laughs> for Paolo Espino? Can we just DFA West Parsons and not no, bring anyone else? Yeah, we could just have 39 guys. The 39 man roster? Yeah. I forget who said it too, though, but apparently West Parsons' name is coming up this spring. A lot. Yeah, I remember hearing that, seeing that somewhere. And like, <laughs> not people asking about him. Like, No, they, he's just being up. brought up. If Maybe I it's like to, a trade bait thing. Dog, if I have to watch another West Parsons start, I was there like, live. I didn't watch that game. I like tuned into the first inning and he gave up like four and I was like, all right, I'm I'm cool. I'll catch the highlights. <laughs> like Brit sat through that shit. I sat there in the last row <laughs> watching it. <laughs> it was great. It was a good game though. There's a shit ton of runs. Yeah, that oh. game finished like what 11-7 oh. or some shit. Oh. Like... Um <laughs> I was being at a 24.75 ERA last year. Oh my god. So, so are we but... so we've lost he was hurt. That's what I'm saying. He got hurt at the end of it. And Brand... then they released him. Yeah, yeah Brand... but now he's how figured many... out how to pitch hurt. Sorry. How many flight deck guys do we have? Like currently? This, this has got to be another one, right? Like we have Cav. Yeah. We have Danny. we have Danny Kikuchi. We have Kikuchi. We had Matt Chapman. We had Brad how, Zimmer. How are they flat <laughs> flight deck guys if it's only two of you that like them? Because well, because at of, first it because you it was before your time. It was before your time, sir. That's fine. Which is crazy to think because Nate's been here a whole year. So also, <laughs> that's fucking crazy to think yeah. about. Um, don't tell me you're a Kirk over a Jano guy, anyways. Yeah, don't do. No, this. I wasn't talking about exactly. That. So no, you're, he's, he's more a guy. So, he's more so talking about Cav. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but, but Cav he doesn't have is a choice. Like, Cav is the forever one, Nate. You can't debate this. Yeah. Cooch is kind of. Cooch is there too. Cooch is kind of Cooch there. Is, Cooch is my guy. I'll give you What's Cooch. Up? Can I have a question? I have a question. Can you have a question? No. Yes. Can <laughs> I have a question? <laughs> Not a lot. Why are you guys such Kevin Biggio fans? Because I don't get it. Vibes. At all. Pure vibes. Honestly. He has no vibes. <laughs> Pure vibes. <laughs> no. He has so Pure little. vibes. Here's no. the thing. So Here's much vibe. Thing. He has. No, 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 Brent. He has so little vibe. It becomes no, so much vibe. 12 out of 10 vibe. It's like, no, it's he's got the biggest Amish vibe of all time. No, that's like yes. that's like telling me this car sitting out here has vibes. What kind of car is it? Yeah, is it, is it is it a car that gets the job is done? Is it a nice car? It looks like a great. It's Honda not a nice Civic. car. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's a car. It's it's a car that's not too flashy, but that's it does it get no it's... Civic suck. <laughs> does this can't snow out here look? Give off good yeah. vibes. Gives off some vibe. Our good ones. <laughs> Brent, why did we become Kevin Biggio? Guys? I, like I don't understand. I locked in back when he won fucking the Eastern League Player of the Year back in 2018 or whatever it is. I was in. I've like, been there. It just hasn't worked out. But I'm not gonna jump off yeah. the train now. I've been riding it since 2018. Okay. For fuck's yeah. sakes. Here yeah, we go. I respect that. I respect that. I honestly didn't know the answer. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I've been. I've been following. I'm not gonna say I'm going Eastern League MVP back, but like <laughs> 2019 when he came up, like I was. I was like, all right, there's there's my guy. And then just I thought he was gonna be the Vlad, honestly. I thought, bro, I, thought not be, been the Vlad. I thought he was gonna be the best one of the three. So did I. That's what that's what I mean. You I guys are definitely in the one. minority on that one. I mean granted it was a year, but you could have there was a world where you could have like even after twenty, his rookie year was the best after, of the three. Even after twenty twenty, there was a, a belief that you could be like, he's gonna be the best of these three. No, definitely after 2019. After 2019, and then like no, 2020, for, Vlad still no. sucked in 2020. Let's 2020, Vlad did still suck. There wasn't a belief that he was going to be the best. Like there was a possibility you, that he could. There was a possibility. Okay, sure. I think after 2020, just based on skill and not availability, Bo overtook him. Yeah, and then Vlad in, in 2021 was just like, all right, fuck off. Vlad <laughs> like, wasn't good until I, 21, I, and then he was MVP level. Yeah. 
and then the rest but, the, and know. then Cav got hurt and then the I also love injury. the versatility of Cav and Bijou. Um and I just I'm I'm not unhitching my wagon from that train. We're going yeah, we until he know. makes but, an all-star game. Okay. But, yeah. Who so else do we have? We have Kukuchi. Kukuchi's here. We have Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen. Then we have Paolo Espino. Paolo, Paolo, I guess Paolo Espino's in there now. Mm-hmm. And then the two people that we have had and let go, Matt Chapman, Bradley Zimmer, and Bradley Zimmer. Yeah. So Chapman was kind of eh. We were kind of on and off on Chapman. It wasn't we were really on and off on Chapman. Chapman I wouldn't was, know if I'd call him a flight deck. Guy. Chapman was a, I did a, a love flight Chappie. deck. The flight deck guy adjacent. Like, yes. Uh, Brad Zimmer definitely a flight deck guy. Yes. Made multiple. We made multiple fucking TikToks on that guy. I made a goodbye video for him. <laughs> Best, best video Multiple goodbye uh, No, Paolo Espino, definitely flight that guy. Damiano yeah. Palmagiani, flight oh, that guy. Oh. guy. For sure. He's got a, we've got a hand signal for the guy. Two absolute only, flight that guy. You can only do this when you say Damiano Palmagiani. That. You don't, you have way too much wrist in that. It looks so <laughs> weird. It looks like you're doing something else. Oh, that's, cr- oh, that's, cr- no. You need just a little, <laughs> it's like up and down. It's just a little bit. There. Yeah, there you go. See, not there as much risk. Yeah, you're you're thinking of someone else when you're doing that. Um, I think that's it for the new guys. What do you want me fucking conscious about like my wrists now? <laughs> what the fuck? Why like, do you keep flailing your wrists? Stiff it up. Um, <laughs> you pause. Pause. Tell me, me to do what? <laughs> Moving on. Uh, you like you I, not. <laughs> dog there's an episode that we did like mid-season talking about a certain player on the Tampa Bay Rays that's no longer on the Tampa Bay Rays mm. uh and your I wording we say good was things. so bad you you said you used the words to kick it off it was a, it's a touchy subject mm. and mm. like and not good yeah not good Hey, we all make mistakes. Just stiffen up for us, Connor. <laughs> Even. I'm out. Uh, I, I'm trying to move on, but I still have Paolo Espino's fucking thing pulled up here, and that's all I can focus on. <laughs> I mean... Eh. We are so far off the rails. Uh, tell me about Mike Myers. They signed him because wasn't of the he, um Wasn't he Shrek? Yes. He's also okay. a killer from Halloween. I was going to say, he was like Jason. Right. No, What? No, he's Mike Myers. He's Mike Myers from Halloween. Jason is Jason. Yes. Jason is Friday the thirteenth. Jason is Friday no. the thirteenth. Who's yeah, who's I the know. killer? Who's the killer in Nightmare on Elm Street, Nate? Never watched it. Freddy Krueger. Uh, also, I don't Night- think I've ever seen it either. I think I've seen honestly, I don't, I'm not a big horror movie guy. I've seen a lot of I'm Halloween. Either. I haven't seen any of those movies. I've seen Halloween, a few of them. I've seen I don't know if I've seen any of the Friday the thirteenth. I uh I don't. I definitely never seen any of the Nightmare on Elm Street. Never seen any of the Chucky movies. Mm, I'm trying to think, of anyone? I haven't seen a lot. I'm it's watching movie guy. Michael Myers right now. And Which one? Looks like he has nice movies. Like Austin Mike's Powers, Mike, Michael Mike Myers. Myers. It's Mike Myers. Now we're calling him Myers. Fight that guy. Mike Myers. Shrek. He's, Austin yeah. Powers. I, I, Blue I, I, Jays. I, I, position player. What does he do? Pitcher. Pitcher. Blue Jays pitcher. Yeah. Signed what does this guy do? So what? Why does this matter? He's a reliever. Okay. So he does ninety three because of this. Because of the Swans and Romano stuff. Yeah. Bro, if this is the guy we're bringing up, fucking shit. Oof. Ooh. Fucking Paolo Espino season, baby. <laughs> Paolo Espino season is right. Fuck right. It. Over this chance. schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I'm... You're not it. Mike, I know you from the Angels, and that's about it. That's all I need to know about you. This You're guy right. was a major leaguer at some point? Yes! Okay. For He's wearing a Royals hat in this I picture. Was just saying, yeah. I know him from For the Royals me. from that picture. I, I, I thought that was just like a stock image that they used. Play, play for the Angels as well. Really? Uh, well, that doesn't mean shit. Well, well, you know who's not going to play for the Angels? Mm. Blake Snell. Ipe. Oh. <laughs> Ipe did already. Hmm. I don't think he played. Are we well, done he, with Blue Jays news? That's it. Yeah. We're really ending it on Mike Myers. I mean, we what, we could have ended it on like 
Calo Espino. Calo Espino. <laughs> Bro, Mike Myers has eight years in the bigs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait. Who? No, eight wait, seasons. no shot. You're fucking lying to me. No shot. He oh, has eight Mike 262 Myers. innings pitched. I looked up Shrek. He's got a, he had a negative Mayors, two. man. <laughs> no. He has it's a Myers. 5.2. Are we sure he's, it's Mayors? His he career played... war is negative 0.1. That's fantastic. Yeah, he they got negative, negative two of that last, last year. year. <laughs> What's his best season? His best? Oh, you know what? He had a 2-1. 20, 2020, he had a 2-1. Yeah. And a th- I mean, and a 3-4 okay. in 2021. So it's not what like... movies did Mike Myers do in 2020? I don't think he did any. Come on. I will say this guy likes to give up dangers. He is yeah. a home run guy. Dude. 47 in 262 innings pitched. Oh, you're correct, Connor. Nothing. Yeah, well. I thought, why did I think Bohemian Rhapsody was in 2020? That was fucking six years ago. He was in Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah, he's the agent or one of the agents. Or the, ah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Still haven't seen that movie. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah. I liked it. Man, there really is not. He hasn't done about. shit lately. So Mike Myers gave up his acting career to come pitch for the Blue Jays. Canadian boy came back. What are we doing? Crazy. Paolo Espino is going to the thumbnail, by the way. Paolo, put Shrek in the thumbnail. Shrek um, in the Blue Jays jersey. Where Can the title we? be stiffen up? No. The stiffen up, not. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the league exists. Uh, Blake Snell. Yeah, sorry. Blake Holy Snell's going to the Giants. <laughs> None of this matters, bro. Our most in oh, J.D. Can we... signed? <laughs> yeah. Oh. In fucking Oakland. Just learn. Can we talk about the fact that Scott Boris and Blake Snell turned down 150, 60? From the Yankees? Million dollars from the Yankees and got 62. Scott Boris is cooked. Dude. Cooked. Someone put, I can't even remember. It was a thing. Cody Bellinger asked for over 250 and mm-hmm. got 80. Mm-hmm. Blake Snell asked for over 200 and he got 62. And he, he turned down 168. Turned down 168. And then Matt Chapman turned down 150, it. whatever. Turned down 150, whatever. Got 54. Mm-hmm. He's cooked. Like, he's cooked. I don't know, man. He's got a huge class coming up. He's going to do just fine next year. Oh, yeah, Soto. He's already made enough money. It doesn't matter. But Soto, cooked. between Soto and Bregman, he's fine. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, doesn't he have Burns? I want to say. I think he did. But Freed Burns looks like a uh, thingy guy. I feel like every time Burns does, we look talk like about a thingy Scott guy. Boris. <laughs> you know who Boris does have is Yusei Kikuchi. Yes, yeah. and he had Ryu. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boris guy. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Is there just oh. like a? Li- we need to. I need to print off a list of Boris guys. I mean, it, it's a wrap. Because we do this every time we talk about Boris. We're like, is he a Boris guy? I mean, 90% chance that... Well, that's what I mean. If they're you good and they're going to make money, he's probably a Boris guy. Wait a or minute. CAA. Wait, wait a minute. I'm waiting a minute. Breaking news. Breaking news. Why are they tweeting... Why is your voice so high? I don't know. <laughs> Why did they just tweet four minutes ago? Who? Guys, it happened. What? He's gone. Who? Santiago Espinal. Really? On the Blue Jays' Twitter, it just says, thank you, Santi, for everything you did for our team and the impact you made on our community. They don't mention that he's, like, traded. They don't say anything just else. Thankful it's for just Santiago thank Espinal post. today. So I'm, oh, no, we did trade Santiago Espinal. For cash considerations? Got it. For a minor league or minor league right-handed Chris pitcher. Chris McClevin. Chris McClevin. He's in a Vanderbilt jersey, so. Nice. Well, I guess we can say Ding Dong. The There's no dead. way that guy's name is pronounced McClevin. McKelvin? McKelvane? McKelvane? McElvain? It's got to be McElvain. McElvain? That's, um, okay. No time. I think, I think Nate just saw the Arjun Namala home run for the first time. That was a nuke. <laughs> yes. Arjun. We, we didn't even talk about Namala. No, we didn't either. <laughs> That yeah, just got we popped. talked more about Dude. Paolo Espino and the Mike Arjun, Myers than we did like Arjun Mamala, one of our best prospects. Indian superstar. <laughs> Fuck. 
I, I actually haven't also, seen Homer yet, but that's huge. Dude. I'm, I'm taking a kid that they're showing in a Vandy jersey who I'm assuming has not pitched in the majors. Pro ball over pro ball, period. Like, what is this guy's name? Sorry, Chris, Chris something. M- Chris. Is it M-A-C? M-C-E. M-C-E-L-V-A-I-N? Yeah. But yeah, I hadn't um, seen that Arjun Nuke. That was a, that he was a bomb. Was, he was drafted by the Reds in the eighth round of the 2022 draft out of Vanderbilt. Good old Tennessee boy. And he pitched in an A-ball and A-ball. A-plus last year. So he had a 304 in A-ball. He's how old? He's 23. I don't know. 23? So... What's that K's per nine looking like? Big is he a? Oh, he's not even Apollo Espino level strikeout guy. He had nine point five K's per nine. That's pretty good. One point one seven. We're not good at breaking it's, news. We missed that by like seventeen minutes. No, we did. But it's not going to matter. The thing doesn't release till tomorrow anyway. It's, it's yeah, so. Like, we missed it by twenty six hours at that. Yeah, point. Yeah, we were too busy googling Paolo Espino. <laughs> it's way more important. We talked about the important things here. I, so, guys, guys, what's your favorite Santiago Espinal moment? Oh, really... he, there's only one, and there's it's the barehanded one. catch when they first came back. Yes. Was it. <laughs> I can't remember anything Santi did. So, wow. yeah. You really don't remember the that's barehanded? It. That's the only thing I remember, too. I, I don't remember half the stats you guys, or the plays you guys bring out. Ooh, do you guys know Ranker has a list of uh, Scott Boris clients ranked? No, we're not doing this. We could, though. Uh, who do you think number but one is? It's probably Juan Soto. Yeah, good guess. Number two? Probably Alex Perkins. No. Come on no. now. Be better. Come on. C- Cody Bellinger. Eric Cole. No. no. Yeah. Come on. Is Cole a Boris guy? Yeah, right? Yeah, he's got to be. Um, he came out after the Houston game wearing a Boris Corp hat. Yeah, you're right. Oh, is it Aaron Judge? No, it's not. Rice? Rice. Uh, Don't say be better and then give me Bryce Harper. Fuck off. Because you said fucking who was your guess? Alex you Br- said Bregman. Bregman. Bregman can't hey, lick Bryce's multiple, shoes. That's a multiple time World Series champion, Alex Bregman. Number three. JD None Martinez. of the players you've said so far. JD Martinez. No, it's Corey Seager. Isaiah Kiner Falafa. Number four, Garrett Cole. Five, Max Scherzer. Six, Altuve. Belly. Belly already. Uh, Bogarts, <laughs> Martinez, Chris Bryan at 10. So things are gone way off the rails. Rodon at 11, Nimmo 12, Correa 13, Reese, Arias, sorry, Julio Arias, Josh Bell, Josh Bell again. That's Can we talk about this for a second? Because I feel like Chris Bryant could have been a lot lower on this list. Is so this just much. going by dollar value? I don't I'm know. Sure, bro, because It's a ranker thing, so you can just up and down both them. So... Chris Bryant has to. It can't be dollar value because no, it's not. So does the top. I think it's just people voting for their guy. Yo, Chris Bryant, he should be like number fifty. You Who's number fifty? Thirty on this list. Who's number fifty? You know, it's thirty-one. I'm getting there. Thirty-one is Anthony two? Rendon. You said Kikuchi's at thirty-three. This is an outrage. <laughs> yeah. This... Who's number fifty? I'm going. Hold on. We're it's at... rolling. I'm at 39. I'm taking Anthony oh Rendon God. over. Like Snell's at 40. <laughs> That's it. I'm That's last one. Okay, well, he should be at 40 then. I'm taking him over Blake Snell. Who's 39? Oh fuck. I just scrolled all the way back Scucci, up. Wasn't it? No, he was 33. It's an absolute joke. 39, Tony Watson. 38, Bubba Starling. Fucking Tony Watson. Okay. He has weight. Bottom line, he has way less guys than I thought he did. Uh, J.D. Davis, sorry, went to Oakland. We skipped Garrett Cole, or not Garrett Cole, Blake no, Snell. Blake Snell, but, good move for the Giants, still probably. I first. just don't care about him. It doesn't matter. No. I'm I think sorry. this puts him a lot more in contention. Yeah. You think it moves him above? Uh, you it know what? It doesn't move him above Arizona. If the Diamondbacks don't make their World Series run last year, we don't think the Diamondbacks are a good team. Who's got the better rotation? Great question. Opening day, that's real close. Opening day, okay. The, I like Gallon a lot. The Giants is... The Webb's close. Webb's Webb, better than Gallon, I think. Webb, Snell, Harrison... Hicks and somebody else. Hicks and... Geez. That depth is bad, man. You got Robbie Ray coming back mid-season. And, yeah, Robbie mm-hmm. Ray's But, mid-season. like, opening day is bad. Yeah. 
Um, Who's the Diamondbacks? Um, Gallon Kelly, Kelly fought. Fought uh, Erod. Erod. Now, if this is where I circle back a bit, if the Diamondbacks don't go on that run where you see Fott pitch like a Cy Young contender, do we think Brandon Fott's any good? No. They sucked in the regular season. But also, if they don't go on that run, do we think their lineup's that good? Because I no, think the Giants I, might I have a better so. lineup. I still don't see the Giants being very good. I don't think either team is great. I mean... Are either of my, are either of them going to win 90 games this year? Probably not. I don't think so. Are they going to win 85? I think, 85? Close. I think th- Yeah, I think they're over 85. They're, they're 85 to... 85. I think both could be over 85. Yeah. I don't think both of them are. I don't like either of these lineups. I think both of them could be a playoff team. Yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe no, now that I'm thinking of it. Maybe because uh, like at least probably you gotta expect the Phillies. Are... What are you taking one out of the Central? No, I'm not taking one of the Central. I'm not taking the Marlins. No, yeah, you're right. Or the Mets. Are the Giants? Yeah, you're right. The Giants are better than the rest of the Central. I'm the Giants are probably Rogers. better than the whole Central. I'm sorry. I just I just had to laugh. Mm-hmm. Some, a red uh, reporter or something, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, tweet with Matt McLean's status up in the air for opening day with a left shoulder injury. The Reds today acquired 2022 All Star infielder Santiago. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's forever what he'll be known as. <laughs> That's fantastic. He we, we did this. We Why did do the Reds this. need infield depth? Who cares? Who cares? At the end of the day, I don't care who took him. Someone took him, and now we have a spot oh, on the McClain's floor. Oh, hurt. Matt McLean's hurt. Yeah, that's, that was how he said. Actually, in fairness, McLean going down, and <clears throat> what's the guy's name that just got popped? Yes. Marte. Oh, Marte. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no LV. I mean, no LV. it's still Dan Carnassi on Strand, mm-hmm. Steer, Ellie, and then India. India. Candelario. Yeah. And they still don't need him. They <laughs> like, need him just as badly as we did. It makes no sense. I don't care. He's gone. Great. He's gone. Good, he good job. A, he was a nice I guy. Wish when him he was well. here. Good, six, good yes. story. Good story. Your 698 OPS. Man, we got him for Steve Pierce. Yeah. But I take that trade <laughs> as a win. It yeah, was a win win. The, the Sox, the Red Sox. Sox but won like, that shit. But, but, I think yeah. it's a win for us, too. Um, we weren't going to need Steve Pierce. Sorry. Can we please circle back to JD Davis? Yes. Fine. We've still skipped over Triple A Taylor three times. We'll yeah. get to him. I don't care, but I want to know about JD Davis. Okay, what, what is, is Oakland, man? It's fucking Oakland. Like, did they like did the they Bruce get day. to sign Davis for like fifteen dollars because he's still getting paid from San Francisco? Is that why they did it? No. Because San Francisco doesn't have to pay him as our that he won. Really? Apparently that was a whole real shady situation. Have you heard about that? No. No. They've talked about it on FT a few times, and San Francisco didn't come to the table with a number in any negotiations until one hour before the arbitration hearing. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. Tell them how you really feel. Shit. Or before the deadline or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, brutal. Apparently, they didn't even tell him. He was like, good at for the Oak- park. He was at the park warming up, and somebody's like, "Uh, you got released." That's tough. Damn, he had a was having a good spring. As much as I talk shit about him in our group chat, he was having a really good spring. He's gonna be their fucking three hitter. Yeah, it's Oakland. Well, you're yeah. not you're not afraid of that Estuary Ruiz, Zach Geloff, Brent Rooker, and JD Davis top. <laughs> oh, Zach Geloff can, can Geloff is actually good. Brent, I like Brent Rooker. I think that'd be a fun top four. I think you go. They might yeah. really be helping Nate's case. I think they in... go Ruiz. No, 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 no. My case in what? In what the, the White, White Sox. Sox finishing last in the. League. Oh yeah. Especially after. Yeah. <laughs> what we didn't have in here, Garrett Crochet. They have a guy who has not started a game in Major League Baseball as your opening day starter. <laughs> At least I really like Alex Crochet, Wood. but isn't it Wood? That... Wood, yeah, Wood is the A's opening day. What about Polly Punchouts? They still have, they have Chicken Strip too. 
Yeah. That rotation yeah. could be actually like okay. Like Wood was decent for a couple. Yeah, of I hate, looked I at the A's that, team. Like I need the White Sox to I don't, do more than the A's. That's all I need. I don't think that top four is gonna be horrible. No, it's not. Rooker's like, a good four stick. Like it? honestly, Davis probably hits three. You got Ruiz leading off because he's faster than fuck. And they, they've um, just decided that Mason he, Miller's not a starter anymore. Is that I mean if he just humming a that's what we're up, doing? Just humming a one on one in the pen. Okay. Uh, I mean, they got Paul Blackburn, J.P. Sears, Alex Wood, Ross Stripling, Joe Boyle, and Luis Medina, and then Ken Wallachuk's on the sixty. But that's a major I league rotation. Mind, I didn't mind the first four. That's more than you could say, Connor. Yeah, I. What do you mean, I love my four. Who are your four? Ooh. <laughs> Crochet, apparently. Cro- G- Garrett Crochet mm. will pass his career innings total if he stays healthy by May. By the so, second game, um, Mike uh, Soroka. Mike Soroka. I really like Mike Soroka. I'm with I you. I love there. Mike Soroka. He's been good Mike in Soroka spring. Doesn't like to stay healthy. He blew his Achilles out twice. That's really. Yo. It's hard to come back from once. Eric yeah. Fetty Wap. <laughs> yes, he lost me there. That's not a major league pitcher. What do you mean? He but a he's a league phenomenal league Korean pitcher. He wasn't a major league pitcher when he went to freaking Korea, and he's coming back not a major league pitcher. Yeah, but. Yeah, and and Nick no, guys who are good, good don't go to Korea. They don't go to Korea. They go Didn't to Japan. Eric Thames. Where did Eric Thames? Eric go? Thames went to Korea. Korea, and he no came shit. back a dinosaur or a gorilla. Yes. That's, that's... They obviously don't have PD testing there. Also, like... hey, you're not. You're gonna. You, are you forgetting the man that I we never... all thought that we were getting for Teoscar Hernandez, Chris Flexen? That's their four. Who's their five? Nick Nostrini, who is a like a uh, twenty, he's a prospect. Um, Who's Chris Flexen? He was a Mariner. Yeah, I know. He was he's the big good. piece. Um, he was the big piece in the rumored. As if that was the rumored trade for Tay Oscar. That's hilarious. Chris Flexen. Um, can you guys name White me? Suck, who suck. Dude, Oakland nice. A's relievers. Not two, two Mason Oakland. Miller. Uh, is Adrian Martinez? He's in the minors, so no. Okay. Um, they have one guy that's like actually been a major league reliever, I believe, and I can't think of who it is. Is something they Jimenez? have a couple, da- like Danny Jimenez. Or... Yes, good job. Um, you just got that forget... movie, the show, didn't you? Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. I forget um, who their closer is, but he's like actually decent. I don't he's know bent. which one of these guys are the closers. You want me to just read oh, to the list? Something Acevedo. Domingo? No. Domingo Acevedo or something uh, like that. Not on this uh, not on this list, no. Okay. The only reason I remember that is because I know Cal Raleigh. Had Before we risk this going longer than it yeah, needs to, they have Zach it? Jackson, Lucas Urseg, Urkeg? Urseg, yeah. Yeah, Mitch Spence, Mason Miller, Scott Alexander, Trevor Gott. I've heard Kyle, of Scott Alexander and Gott. So. Yeah, Kyle Muller, Danny Jimenez, Sean Newcomb is an interesting one. The, the, like, as in the Braves, Sean Newcomb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a time where Sean Newcomb was really good. That time has long passed, but yeah. Yeah, he's on the A's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but isn't there someone who's actually not bad? No, that's it. That's the bullpen. Oh. The, the not bad guy was Trevor May last year, and he's retired. Mm. Zach oh, Jackson. Yeah, but I thought they got someone else. Maybe it's Jackson I'm thinking of. What did Zach Jackson do last year? Oh, oh that's spring. Never mind. Last year, he had a 2-5. Okay. He has With an who? 8-5 in spring training this year. With the A's. Couldn't tell you. I just Zach. No, I think Zach Jackson was with the A's. Uh, twenty twenty two is. Oh, 20, no, you don't even know. Three. Actually, you know what? The last two years, actually, he only pitched nineteen games last year. But the year before, he pitched fifty four games and he had a three ERA. Twenty six holds. <laughs> He's actually good. Okay. He only. Oh, never mind. That's not what I'm looking at. Hey, he could be. He could be a guy. Yeah. The White Sox don't have a guy. It's gonna be a crazy year. Michael, Michael, Michael Kopech, Kopech is going to fucking shove oh, in the right. pen, dude. Why is Michael Kopech not starting? Yes. Over Garrett Crochet. Yes. Over fucking I mean, Linguini the in the five spot there. Here's the thing. Nino Niederreiter, whoever you said pitching five. Nick for you. Okay, here's the I was, thing. I wasn't that far off. Nico Linguini. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Here's the, the team thing, is ridiculous. If Kopech, if Kopech can throw strikes while, like, when he's starting, he's mm-hmm. better. He can't uh, sure. He can't throw strikes to save his life. Yeah, but I still would take the risk over fucking 
N- what's his name? Nick Nestrini. Nancy Nitrine. <laughs> there's also Tuki. There's also Tuki Toussaint. Oh, former dog. Yeah. Let's just never talk about his team again. No, we're going, we're to, talk going about to them so many times. So many. This times is going to be a year, race baby. the entire year. I, I, I'm Connor. I'm way more leaning on Nate's side now. I think this is legitimately going to be in a race. Because they is suck. They have an actual lineup. Who's your top four? They suck, man. Benintendi, we... Moncada, Robert Jimenez. What do you mean? No, don't give me Jimenez. He's not playing. Don't give, don't give me Benny. He's not playing after last year. Also, no, Jimenez isn't gonna play. Also, dude. Moncada you can't count him ever. Yes, yeah, you want Mon- you want fucking Moncada. That's Is your he three even stick. An MLB That's player two, anymore. It's two stick. It's two Shut stick. Up. It's fuck you. I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh. You my have ass the up. best player. Yes, they do. Robert is a dog. Robert and that's is it. easily the best player. Luis and Robert will carry them. The A's have the next wins. five. If, if no, I'll give him Four. Luis Robert as number two if he can stay healthy. As number two? What do you mean? He... Wait, the hold on. Who best. did you say is number one? Who, yeah, who is number Wait, did one? Wait, I say. This... Oh, I meant Eloy. I meant Eloy okay. as number two. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was who is, are you saying Zach Gellar is better than no, I, No, the <laughs> two of them confuse me. No, Robert's one, and I'm saying if Eloy's healthy, he's two. You know how big that if is? That's oh, fine. It's a, it's That's a the biggest if. if. That's it's fine. not going to happen. If, if it happens, are you disagreeing with me? No, you're right. Yes. But it's just not going to happen. But then it's Oakland's almost entire roster before the next White Sox comes on. Mm-hmm. Who's your Moncada, third best Moncada's player? probably better than a couple guys on the A's. I'll give Connor that. A couple. That's none of those top four. No, he's not better than Galloff. He's not better than Rooker. He's not. It's arguable that he's better than JD Davis, but I I don't know. You could argue he's better than Ruiz too. Ruiz isn't a good hitter, but he brings a lot. He doesn't bring speed. Hold speed. On. He brings speed. <laughs> he doesn't bring like, defense. He Don't can't hit. He can't defense. play defense. So what does he? Bring? I wasn't going to say that. He can hit for a little bit of contact and he runs. Okay. Okay. Where are we at? What here? does what does fucking Moncada do anymore? He plays really good defense. Okay. And if he's and not that's hurt. that's what I want out of my three stick. He's your two stick. He's not your three. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want out of my two stick. And the thing is, it's the first person... thing you say is he plays really good defense. Okay, he didn't even follow it up with like, okay. and he's a pretty good hitter. No, like, that wasn't that didn't even let me, come through. Could you let me fucking? Ah, oh, man, I gotta defend. See, You're... this is <laughs> my Yomomo Gata fandom. Brant is is Kevin is it's me trying to I've defend Kevin Vigio with half it. of the fucking ammunition. Like, <laughs> see. The issue here. WBC is, Yohan Moncada was the was the, the, the issue, third base the issue, player of the tournament. The issue here is. I think you had the lineup before Davis, and now I'm starting to think I don't think you have the lineup. Okay. Really close. Because I don't think they have the rotation. I don't think they have the pull. Okay. Are we just going off? Like, if we can go off OPS last year, Yon Mokada was a he was a 730 OPS. Oh, 23. Fuck, I mean 23. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. That's I'm I'm trying here. Uh, I'm trying to compare JD Davis and Yohan Mankata, but they've already switched the 2023 dot over to 2024, and I hate it. Yeah. It's gonna be a tough year, Connor. Dude, he's a fucking career. All right, he's a career what? Go ahead. He's a, he's, he's a career one hundred six OPS plus. JD Davis is a one thirteen. How much war did you, uh, JD Davis have? Uh, that doesn't matter. No, 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 that matters. No, it doesn't matter. War's, no, it does. War is a made up stat. No, fuck you. It, he's got a thousand OPS less plate appearances, dude. OPS, OPS is, is a not made a made up stat. stat. That's a that's a tangible stat. On base is how many times up, you get on base, and slugging is just a weighted way of that. I just tried to look up the Oakland A's OPS on MLB app. Mm-hmm. Can you guys guess the list? Like projected? Sorry. Oh, no, from the last what? year. They're OPS leaders from last year. It was Rooker at like a seven something. Oh, theirs. I thought we were saying league. Rooker had to be number one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is, did Geloff qualify? I don't know. No one else did. <laughs> Yes, but that team is better than the fucking Chicago White Sox. All right, all right, all fucking right. Okay, all right. Can we let's just go through this? Half the guys came up halfway through the year. 
<laughs> Didn't the A's win like 12 straight last year at one point or something stupid like that? I don't know. Like, it was like eight. It was it eight? Don't give That's 12. Digits. That's 12 I, in eight in uh, A's years. They are spending. Do you know how many Where's championships this graphic? Davis Where, has? Did I send this graphic in Twitter or did I send it just to you, Brent? The payroll. Oh, no, you put it in my Yeah. Um, from can someone tell me where JD Davis won a 2007 champion? until now. Hmm? So from 2007 to now, hmm. the A's are spending $18 million less than 2007. It's good. It's good. Well, they put a good team. They're together. the only team in the negatives. Like, fuck me. The Orioles are spending three million more. Which I mean That's to, awful, dude. To I be mean, fair, they haven't really needed to supplement no. anyone. Well, they could. They could. They did with Burns. Look at their fucking rotation. They they could have supplemented a lot. They could have done more. You know how much better I'd feel about the Orioles right now if it was like Burns, Snell, Monty? Or just okay, there's Snell. no there's no world where they're no, but they, that's they, happening. They could have Burns, Burns, Snell, Bradish. Like, yeah, well, you Bradish can't just or... fix guys' arms. I was gonna say, that's not all right, changing. All right. <laughs> all right, shout out to the Pittsburgh Pirates assembling the Avengers of domestic violence. Oh my god, dude! Literally <laughs> though. Sorry, sorry, Nate. This is it's, it's, it's nothing to do with Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor is a great guy from all accounts. We don't know. Yeah, I know, Michael but Taylor. I wanted to actually talk about Triple A Taylor for a second we, before we move to fucking yeah, Domingo Herman. We, we did just shred the pirates. Maybe we give them a second. Yeah, we'll give, uh, we'll, go ahead, be positive, Nate. No, you pirates. you brought it no, up. You know, you we've already first. started. We gotta just okay. Just we gotta cannonball the pirate ship. Get your money, but no. God, you're we're collecting the Infinity Stones here. The literally. They've got three. G1 Bay, Aroldis Chapman, and Domingo Herman. They are missing two people. I think it could happen. <laughs> I, could, I could see them doing it. Like They could complete the gauntlet. Man, you could get Ooh, Julio Lord. Urias for real cheap. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then Trevor Bauer. And then Asian Breeze over no. there. Like, no. I think the odds are that Marcelo Zuna has a really bad year. But they could... They could complete the gauntlet before that even has to happen. Like, there's two guys yeah. available right now that they could go and get and put and finish this off. That's fucked. It's I mean, it's brutal because I love Pirates fans. They're great people. <laughs> but fuck, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. It, you, your reputation is in the toilet to begin with. Like, nobody thinks of the Pirates as a good organization. And you go out and do this shit? You just say, come two? one, come In one off season? Who? Do it like... Who would you rather have, Domingo Herman or Julio Arias? Julio Arias. At least he's a good pitcher. Didn't he has two though? Right? Am I what wrong? Herman. Yeah. Herman has two. Okay. Yeah, they both have two. And Herman has a PED suspension too, doesn't he, or something? I think Arias did. I don't know, maybe I'm. Wrong. I think one of them did. But either way, like <laughs> they're both scumbags. But you, it's one of them actually might help you win games. It's a lot of scumbags, and then just in the middle of it, there's a little wholesomeness with like. There's so Brian many good guys on that team. Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah. Like Brian Reynolds. Connor Joe. Mitch Keller. Like. Like. Jack Sawinski. Jack the Brian. Sawinski. Jack Sawinski. Good Christian lad. And now, Triple A Taylor. And. Triple A Taylor. Rowdy Telez. And. Yes. There's so many good things about this Pirates team, and they just. They blow it all. <laughs> me, 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 you want to talk about Michael A. Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> kind of transition. Go ahead. We can't. Uh, I just want to say, like, this I feel bad for him because he had a pretty a really good, good year. year last year. Like, he hit for a lot of pop. He plays good defense, mm-hmm. quick. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's a good contact guy, or has been through his career. But, like, man, I to get you. what did he what did he get? Like, two, four? I think it was three. Like, Six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Appreciate. Michael Not Taylor. Michael Taylor. <laughs> I don't know, man. Four, like, it was four million. You're telling me that guy yes. last year wouldn't have got like ten the way he played. You, you're telling me you get guaranteed he saw Kevin Kiermaier get ten and a half. He's he like, could have okay. got Kevin Kiermaier money easily. <laughs> and I think he should have. He was a rumored Blue Jay target before we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kev, right. I think. I think this I think is even just after Kevin. This is a bad there. sign for baseball. And I said it. I said it last week. Back to Snell. I said if he doesn't end up in New York. 
mm. and they're not willing to actually spend money to try and win mm-hmm. with your best pitcher hurt, mm. arguably your most important player on your team hurt mm. in a year you've gone all in for um, Soto. Like, I don't know, man. I think that's bad for baseball. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think these these veteran guys like Tim Anderson's another one. Um, if you guys got minor league deals, like Triple A Taylor's an elite defender, but like he's not a good hitter. He had twenty bombs last year, did he not? Did he hit homers? Oh, he had twenty one. Okay. Mm-hmm. He also had an OPS plus of ninety four. He had a 90 the year before, and then yeah. it goes 77, like 79, reason, 73, 69. But he's the reason that they won, I believe it was game two of the playoffs. Yeah, he's a, he's in a, he's a really he good center catch fielder. Against Chapman with the bases loaded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I don't know if that earns him. What did, what did, sorry, what did we land on? He got there, what was it? Four. Four? I think he's a $4 million guy, I think. Uh, he's not a $4 million he's not, player. Dude, if Kevin Kiermaier is 10 and a half, Kevin better numbers michael a taylor's at least like eight he's double that at least i think for his career kevin kiermeyer has better numbers i'm not saying he necessarily should have got rate what kiermeyer got but i think he's like seven eight million dollar player not four maybe and i think he could have got what kiermeyer got like in around there more homers than kev yeah but anyways we didn't stay on triple a taylor for this long no no but we were talking about the pirates um I don't know if you guys want to talk about these last two. It's just a that you're like the Marlins. The Marlins pitch. situation is insane. I'll just say it. Marlins don't have Sandy, uh, Yuri Perez, and <laughs> Edward Cabrera, and Braxton Garrett. But they have so, seven to Sanchez. Yeah, I still have yet to see this Jazz video. So you guys know what this this is why I made my prediction. What was your prediction? The Marlins, Remember the my Marlins. division prediction? No, the Marlins will finish third. No, I had the Marlins fourth. Mm. Oh, okay. I had the Nats third. Oh, Jesus. That was right. You did have the Nats yeah. third. Fuck, okay. did you have fifth so, the Mets? Yeah. Yeah, we all had the Mets fifth. Yeah. So, right. essentially, I'll just give you the, the gist of the Jazz video. Jazz Chisholm was on the Pivot uh, mm. podcast. Um, and, essentially, he was talking about how he felt like he had to be a team leader coming in because there was older guys there that he basically called shit. That were like there for 10 years. And base he brings up a situation where a young player who was one of their top prospects just gets called up in like his second career at bat, hits a nuke of a home run. Mm-hmm. And then later on in the game, he take he's the same guy's batting, takes a takes a pitch, does kind of like a soto shuffle, and then he gets on base after that at bat. Like, and when he goes into the dugout, three veterans like ream him for being like, Why are you doing this? Blah, 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 blah. Like, and then Jazz J- Jazz basically says he comes over and is like, this guy's trying to help us win, and you're shitting on him. Hmm. Oh, so with, he didn't say any names, but he's basically talking about the the player the prospect was Jesus Sanchez, and okay. the player that was shitting on him was he was shitting on Miguel Ross. Right. So there's another player that it could have been. I think, but he they did mention that Jazz did mention that the player like he was talking about has been there. He was there with the Marlins for like eight years. And Miggy Miggy Rowe was there for like eight to ten years before it. Yeah, I was gonna say because it could have been Soler. Yeah, I think a bunch of people have said. Maybe I think this know, was but... all like I think if I'm remembering correctly, they did say he did say it was like 2021, 20, 2022. Like oh, okay, so... I thought you meant this was this year. No, no. it was a couple years ago. Like Hazy Sanchez gotcha, gotcha. has been in the league for yeah, years, yeah. but but like yeah, he's essentially that's what he basically said is he's basically you just shit on Miguel Rojas. Like... I, I, I kind of like probably shouldn't go out and do shit like that, but like I don't know. We like athletes kind of like it. So like, mm-hmm. shit. Well, I like holding people accountable too. Like, you don't need to be that fucking loser anymore. Like, also, also games no. change, change also with be it. Better if you're gonna do it. Like, yeah, you, you got to be better yourself. Like, yeah, you can't. You, yeah, that's kind of the other thing. Is like you're a Marlin, man. Like you're almost out of the league. You're like an Oakland A away from being out of this league. You, well, then you, you don't really have on. a leg to stand on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, but at that point, it was like you only have one rung lower to go. Before you're basically just a bona fide minor leaguer at that point. Yeah. You don't really have a leg to stand and on. Like, if this kid's going to come up and fucking rake, he's probably going to have a longer he, career and than And Jesus Sanchez been pretty good mm-hmm. for the Marlins mm-hmm. the first couple years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... No, I kind of like that from Jazz. Jazz is not a quiet guy. No. 
he, and I, the, I love him for it. Been... Nothing about him is quiet. I no. could not tell you if he talks, but like nothing else is quiet. He's got like you know, blue hair, blue hair, the Euro step. Yeah, he's fun. I like. The I like. I love glove. jazz. The I wish he'd stay healthy. He, he like, the ice cream he, glove, dude. He's the reason I know ice cream gloves are a thing. Yeah, they're sick. Like I want one, but <laughs> I I wish he'd stay healthy so that we could actually enjoy yeah. jazz for what he is. But... That was. I'm that's not sucked. opposed to this. I think it was, was it 2022 that he was going to be the all star starter, but then he got hurt like a week before the game. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, he's a marketable guy. It just he just needs to stay healthy, man. He was on the cover of MLB the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, he shouldn't have been, but let's. He's just fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it, right? We can end yeah. with the Marlins. Mm-hmm. Fuck Miko Ro- Rojas. That's sure. The end. And it's Paolo Espino. It's Paolo Espino season. I say a lot of negative things about the Dodgers, but the Dodgers did. They it was this week, right? That they gave uh, the tolls. Yeah, Andrew tolls renew his contract. Good. They renew his contract again. It's good. That's good. That is the one positive thing I will always say about the Dodgers. That's they don't have to do that, and they continue to do it year after year. Yes, and, uh, it's huge. It's great for them. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> but they did fire Ipe for for Shohei's gambling fire addiction. Young Mizuhara. I'm so excited to see where this story goes from here. Oh God, it's gonna. That's this is not the end. Yes, there's gonna be a hell from, of a lot more. From from average basketball oh, no. playing wife to interpreter gambling away. You gotta coach. think too, though. Like even if like even if, if this did happen, there's Ipe's got to have a shit ton of dirt on Shohei. Oh, I mean, what if Shohei's like secretly part of the Yakuza or something like? Shohei could literally live a completely different life that we didn't. We know nothing about. We know Shohei nothing about him. Day. We just learned he had a dog like four months ago. Named what was the name? I don't know. It took De- us two months. To- decoy. The name was Decoy. <laughs> it took us like three months to learn the name of the dog. We know yeah, nothing because it would because it would Shohei give away was the dating team. a normal married. Pardon me. No one knew he was dating anyone. All of a sudden, he's married to a quote unquote normal Japanese woman who we yeah, find apparently out- sleeps oh. all day. <laughs> Yeah, who was an international? I know. Weeks later, is an international fucking women's basketball, basketball player. player. We know nothing about Shohei. Ipe knows everything about this man. This is not going to end quietly. Ipe <laughs> will not go quietly into that. No. Night. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, dude. Yeah, is Ipe a flight deck guy? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if Ipe does one more thing, if Ipe comes out and does some other shit, Ipe's He's a flight so deck a guy. flight deck guy. Shohei Otani, not a flight deck guy. Fuck him. I'm still mad at that guy. I hate still it. Remember where I was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do too. I was on my way to work. It's great. I was sleeping on Brant's couch. <laughs> you just smack him. Oh, Donnie's a fucking. I wasn't monster. even at the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I don't think anyone was at the house at that time. Honestly. <laughs> fucking brutal. Great. Still don't like him. Team Ipe. Team Ipe. Go Blue Jays. Ipe. Paolo Espino season, baby. Oh, Espino season. Oh. Thanks for listening. Everything's linked in the description below. Uh, Do we need to say goodbye to it? No. No. Uh, We will catch you next week. Kevin Vicio is the better backup. Cheers.